Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences again and today we are back with another interesting topic that is we are going to read text from images. So if you have any PNG or, or JPJ image or whatever, if you have an image and you want to read text from that image, we are going to do that. So our agenda is the following. We will, we will start from installation and the documentation of PyTesser at, at library that is available in Python. Then we will we will read some text from the image and also not only reading the text, we will also annotate the text over the image and then we will also show the image. So this will be our, our final outcome if let's say we have AI sciences so we will actually annotate the text by, by a bounding box or a rectangular bound, bounding box and at the bottom of that bounding box there will be the character or the digit that will be inside that bounding box. <laughs> So yeah, let's jump straight to what we want to do and first thing first, here is the link. Uh, link is available in very very first cell. If you go to the link, it contains the documentation. So uh, PyTesseract is basically um, a library available by Google. So PyTesseract is an OCR optical character recognition tool for Python that that is it will recognize and read the text embedded in images and I mean you can read further documentation as well if you want so simple as that if you will you will just hit this thing this command it will install PyTesseract in your, uh, your, your in your computer so since I have already installed it so I'm not going to run it one more thing if you will go to this link right let me let's go to this link okay let it open and here, here we go. So here it has two exe files. If you're using a 32-bit system, you will download this file. If you're using 64-bit system, you will download this file. Once you will download this file, you will install this exe file, right? Once you will install this exe file, it will go inside your, your um, if I'm using Windows, it will go in uh, inside your C drive in program files and in program files, there will be a Tesseract folder and inside that Tesseract folder, there will be a Tesseract.exe, um, yeah, this file, right? So we will use this file. This file contains embeddings for this, um, for this, um, for for this tutorial, or you can say for the for the OCR thing. So we'll be needing this file, right? So now you know uh, how to get that file, right? So since we know how to install it, we know where are the where is the documentation, we know where is the exe file. So let's just import these two libraries cb2 for just uh, to for image manipulation and pytesseract for uh, ocr or optical character recognition so first of all i'll say pytesseract dot pytesseract dot tesseract cmd right here we are going to paste the the path of this exe file right so let me copy this from here and I need, let me go down, where is my tesseract dot, um, dot exe, yeah, this one, right? So let me copy this and paste it over here. Great, let's run it. So yeah, it has it has gone to sort of the metadata of this, of this li library and then let's say print by Tesseract dot image to let's say image to string right okay and here we have to pass an image but where is the image we have to have an image first right so let's read an image first so we'll say img equals to cv2 dot im read right and then here we'll pass the name of image, let's say one dot png. If I go to my um, my directory, let me here. If I open this one dot png that we are trying to read, it says something like this: AI science is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. Right. So yeah, let's close it. Okay, uh, let's come back. Okay, so let's read this image and then let's 
um, convert it into text and here you can see that it has it is reading the text pretty much accurately from from that image right AI sciences one two three four let me image uh, let me open that image again uh, and it is it is reading in exactly that fashion I mean it is also adding the end of line as well right so yeah one thing is done we are able to read the um, read the text from image uh, pretty much accurately right R roughly here we are able to read the text roughly 100% uh, accurately okay now the the next thing that we want to do is let's we want to annotate the boxes so we'll say print byte as erect dot image to boxes right okay and you can see that it is it is so much handy okay so here are the here are uh, here is character a uh, which, which was the first character a right and here are the bounding box right the probably top uh, left yeah top left corner uh, probably top right corner probably bottom left pro probably uh, bottom right corner I'm not sure about the the sequence of, of the or ordering of, of, of these uh, coordinates uh, I mean you can you can verify it but this is how it is right and then first of all a then i then s then c then so on right we have all the bounding boxes for almost every character great okay now we want to we want to map these bounding boxes onto onto that image so first of all uh, let's get the height of image h i m g let me say um let me say h underscore i m g we also need w underscore i m g which is width underscore img and let's also and let's read it from img dot shape by the way if you you run this command it will return the shape of image which which has these many rows or you can say it has this height it has this width or columns and it has three channels which means um, it is it is an RGB image right so we we don't need the number of channels so we are not reading it uh, we are not storing it in any variable so here okay so it says that h i m g is not defined yeah because we have to put equals to over here great so we have height we have width we have image okay and then uh, what we want to do is we want to get the boxes right so boxes equals to by tesseract dot image to boxes and in this thing we want to pass the image img right probably i mean uh, this is probably probably the stuff that we have done yet uh, so here we are going to iterate over each box and uh, I, and and then we are going to annotate each box individually so we'll say b in boxes dot split yeah i mean i think spl um it split lines right and here uh, we are going to in the in the body of this loop we are going to say b equals to b dot sp lit split with respect to um with re with respect to space right and then we are going to say x is this y is this w is this and h is this right now um we want to uh, i mean uh, in order to and draw the annotations we want to provide the x-axis y-axis width and height of the box right and from where we can get it we can get it from uh, we will say um, b of 1 right this is uh, x-axis I mean this for instance you can say this is b of 1 right so this is uh, sorry this this is this is b and this is b of 0 and this is b of 1 so this will be x this will be y right okay so we have b of 1 over here and then we we also have b of um b of 2 over here one more thing it is an in st string format so we want to convert it into the integer format right so here also we should write something like uh, we, we are we are doing nothing just we are we are just um type casting it right okay copy paste paste okay so here we we want to say b of 3 and b of 4 so one more thing is clear now um, these two things contain x and y axis and these two things contain the width and hei height of the box right and then 
what we want to do is we want to make use of CV2 dot rectangle yeah we want to create a rectangle and we want to create a rectangle on IMG and here first of all we want to pass the X axis so X axis and height of image H image minus Y right we are just setting up the demography of the of the rectangle and then we'll say W right width and we want to pass the uh, height of image right and we want to minus H from it right looks yeah also we, we want to uh, we want to add a color that um, I mean uh, which color of, of rectangles do we want so we will, we will add 0 0 255 right so this is uh, I mean red color uh, this is in BGR format uh, CV2 actually works in BGR format so so this is blue this is uh, G uh, green and this is red right so if you want to uh, change it, its color you can play around with these digits right and then we want to say we are we want to deal in three channels okay now the next thing is we want to put some text on the uh, on the box so we want to put text right so we'll say image put text on image and um, so what will be the text text will be b of 0 I mean in this case this will be the text uh, if we go above in this case b of 0 is this a will be the text right okay this is the text now where do you want to put it we want to put it at x and h img minus y plus 25 we, we just want to put it at plus 25 pixels and um, the next thing is we want to set up the font so we'll say cv2 dot font oh sorry um let's use this one and then we'll say one and then we also have to provide uh, 50 50 255 just the font color and also two right yeah looks fine looks fine looks fine let's run it uh, do we have any error no we don't okay so here we want to show the image so we'll say cv2 dot cv2 dot by the way it is actually manipulating this image img in which we the variable the main variable in which we are reading the image right so it is we, we are pass uh, it receives it as as a reference right no, not as a value so here we'll say I am G image show no I am show I think yeah I am show and here it will be the title and here it will be the image to show and also we'll pass a wait key so that whenever we'll, we'll press any key it will quit it right let's run it so where do we have it we have it over here awesome great so it opens up an image with the title images and then um, you can see that it has it prints a a and I mean it has a in it and then a bounding box and then another a at the bottom of of that bounding box yeah great so yeah that that's what that that that's what we we wanted to do and that's what we have done so let's close this image great so um, yeah that's about it that's what we planned to do and that's what we have done if you liked this video and if you want to learn more about computer vr artificial intelligence and stuff like that do subscribe our channel we post two videos every week do check out the link in description a uh, link of a website where you can find a lot of courses a lot of books related to artificial intelligence python and latest latest technologies data science stuff like that um, yeah that's about it thank you Thank <music> you.